and welcome to the TM and TG YouTube channel. I'm Woody in the glorious Man in the Goat workshop right now, and I want to do a video on the bare bones Pulaski X. But before I do that, just a little bit about this channel. This is a lifestyle improvement channel geared towards independent and self-reliant people. So if that is you, please consider hitting that subscribe button, also the notification bell. Also, consider going and checking out some of our other videos. Actually, you can see how I built this workshop. The purpose of this video is to review and talk to you guys a little bit about the Pulaski uh, Bare Bones Axe. You saw the footage from the beginning where I was actually cutting down a tree, a very small tree that actually got blown over in some wind damage from a storm. And I chopped that, over, chopped that off and actually had to dig it out because we're gonna plant a new tree there to replace it. So I wanted to dig all that out and uh, that way it'd be easier to put something in there. And this tool is actually pretty good for that. One of the reasons I wanted to make this video is because a few years ago, I would get ads from Bespoke Post, I believe that's what it is, also from Bare Bones themselves. Uh, I think I bought a few things from Huckberry and Bare Bones kind of partners with them every now and then. But anyway, either way, this kept popping up on my radar and they kept recommending it to me, you know, it's something that I would like. And honestly, it's a good looking ax, it's a good looking tool. So I kind of wanted one and I decided once it went on sale, which I think I got it for 20% off. And once it went on sale, I was gonna go ahead and get it. And I did, I've had this tool since 2017, I believe. So I've had it a good four years and I've actually used it quite a bit, to be honest. Uh, my old property that I had, we had a lot of overgrowth and a lot of trees and shrubs and all kinds of different things. And I would clear that out from time to time. And I would use this axe to do it. Now I will tell you if you have the capability to pull a truck or something into an area to get to some shrubs or bushes or what have you um, and tie a strap to the plant or to the bush or whatever and then tie it to your truck and just pull it out that way. That is the most efficient or if you have a tractor. So you know you don't have to do it by hand. There's more efficient ways out there. However, I did not have that luxury. So you know I really needed to dig the roots out. And so that's where this tool comes in handy. I'm gonna bring you all in for a closer look and we will talk about some of the features of this tool. So what are the features of a Pulaski Axe? What makes it a Pulaski Axe? If you actually go to the Bare Bones website, they have an, a write-up, I guess I should say, about it. Um, and you can actually see you know, where, where that came from. And basically August of 1910, uh, there was fire swept in the Idaho Montana border and some volunteer firefighters they signed up to fight the overwhelming blaze and one of the people that did that was Ed Pulaski he was a local forest service ranger who bravely led 45 men through the burning forest to aid the town of Wallace Idaho so that's you know where it came from was Pulaski his name was Pulaski from 1910. Basically, he kind of came up with this tool because it was easy to clear the brush for wildfires to clear an area so that the wildfires don't, don't spread. So, you know, that's a big feature of this axe. That's really what it actually is intended for. I will tell you, it's a good looking axe. At least I think so. And I'm sure you probably do as well. That's why you clicked on this video. But it comes with the sheath which is leather and uh, it covers the actual head of the blade, the axe head. So yeah, it has this axe head on it, which obviously is mainly for uh, splitting or chopping. And then it actually has this other, you know, hoe like type design, but they actually call that a matic blade and it's for cutting and grubbing, but it really does work fairly well for getting into roots you know and chopping them up and digging up and you can see that in the very beginning of this video where i was actually digging that tree out um, so i was using it in its proper context i will tell you that i have tried to split wood with this axe and it is not the best wood splitter so you can take that for for what you want as far as how it's made it is a beech wood handle which is very slick because of the finish and a little too rounded in my opinion, not super comfortable. Uh, I wouldn't want to use this tool very long without gloves. And then the actual steel is 1055 steel. It does have this hex 
uh, part here. I think it did come with this, or I don't know what happened to it. I think I lost it, but you could use this to tighten this onto the handle. If this ever gets loose, if the head ever gets loose, that's a neat feature. And it goes all the way down to the pommel here because there's actually a steel core that goes up through this handle. And actually, that makes this thing quite heavy, to be honest. So if I was out there all day clearing brush, clearing shrub, uh, I would not want to use this one. And mainly because the head of the axe is pretty heavy and the handle is kind of small. It's kind of short. You know, if I'm going to have a head of an axe that's this big and this heavy, I would like it to be a little bit longer, the actual handle itself. Uh, you know, this is actually just a little bit too short, I think. You could use this camping, you know. I mean, I guess it would be an okay tool for that. But uh, those are the features of this Pulaski Axe. Okay, so now that you all got to watch me use it and we got the features out of the way and I told you what, how it's made, you know, uh, kind of what it's for, uh, let's go into the, the meat here, the meat and potatoes as I would like to say, as I like to call it, you know, how much is this axe? And I have a terrible memory, so I have to look it up, but on the Bare Bones site, it's $142 on the Bare Bones website. That's a big, bit steep, I think. And that's why I waited for it to go on sale too. I gotta say, $142, in my opinion, it's not worth that. It's a sturdy tool. It, you know, does the job, but I don't think it does it the most efficient. That would be my guess. I haven't used a lot of Pulaski axes, but if I was to guess, I would think there's probably better ones out there. So if your purpose is, if you were wanting to get this axe to actually put it to good heavy use, I wouldn't. I would actually pass on this and get something else. But if you're getting an axe that you think looks cool, which I still think that this, it's a, it's a handsome axe, you know, it looks neat. It looks nice hanging up on the wall. Uh, so, you know, if you just want to get it because you kind of like the way it looks and then, you know, you're going to actually use it from time to time, why not? But I would wait until it goes on sale in, in my personal opinion. And before I start getting all the hate in the comments saying, you've never used this tool. Yeah, I know how you guys are. Look at this blade. I mean, it's all scratched. You can go back and actually look at a video where I sharpened this axe. Go check that out if you haven't. But it's had fairly heavy, decent use, all right? So yes, I've put it to the test. I put it through the ringers and yeah, you know, I mean, it's all right. But like I said, there's probably more functional blades out there. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it at that. So please put it in the comments. Have you seen this thing advertised as much as I have? Because I see it a lot. Or do you have this axe? If you do, what do you think about it? Do you have other Pulaski axes? Because if you do, I want to hear from you. If you are a firefighter especially, I'm really interested to know what y'all have to say. So please leave me a comment. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button because that helps this channel out. We are a small channel and we're trying to grow. It's a slow growth, but we're going to keep at it. We want to bring you guys honest reviews on products. We don't get sent any of this stuff. There is no hidden agenda here. We're just trying to help people out. So if you like that, Hit the like button. With all that being said, this is the man and the goat. Join our tribe.